Hello and welcome to the demonstration for BIT Web Builder version 2. In this demo we will be covering the basic features of the online the Web Builder software, and showing you how you can create your own website from scratch. You can maximize the display window and make it full screen by simply clicking on the square box at the bottom right of this display area. You can bring the display back to the size at any time by pressing the escape key. If you have purchased a pre-built website template from one of our channel partners it will be installed and ready for you to edit once you are logged in. It is important to remember that you do not need to install any extra software or plugins on your computer. This presentation is only an overview of what the software is capable of. Each individual feature of the program is covered in training videos that can be accessed from the main menu within the web builder. You will see on the screen in front of you the login page for the BIT Web Builder version 2. The link to this page including your username and password will be emailed to you once your account has been created. Ok let's get started. First of all enter your username and password in the fields on this page. Once this is done click the submit button. You will now see the Web Builder version 2 main menu on the screen in front of you. If you have purchased a full website template then just click on the page builder button and you will be taken directly to the editing page so that you can start modifying the template right away. If you have just purchased a hosting account and wish to create the website from scratch or by using one of the basic website templates then please click on the load a new template button on the left hand side. For this demonstration we are going to use one of the basic website templates. As you can see there is a list of pre-built website starters to give you inspiration and ideas for creating your own website. These templates are only the first page of the website and are very basic. Once you have selected the template you wish to start with, scroll down to the bottom and click the next button. The software will now ask you if it is ok to overwrite a previous template if this is a new account just click yes and the new template will be created. If this is an existing account please ensure that you no longer wish to use any of your old work as once it has been overwritten there is no way to get it back. Now the template has been created and loaded onto the site, you're ready to start using it. Click on the page builder button to access the editing part of the site. The first page to load is called the page builder basic screen. It gives you helpful little tips on how to move and resize items when you are editing your website. To move an element on the page click and hold the mouse button down and drag the mouse at the same time, this will move any item on the screen. To edit an element double click on it and you will be given a menu. And to resize an element in the page hold down the shift key and the mouse button together and move the mouse. You will see the element get bigger and smaller. To delete an element right click on it and choose delete in the context menu. Save your work after you move, edit or resize. Ok let's get started with the editing, select the click here to start button. As you can see on the screen the starter template that you selected has now been added and set up on your site. Along the top is the menu bar. It has a number of basic options on it. The first few buttons are pretty self explanatory, if you select the advanced button at the end of the toolbar you will see the toolbar maximizes itself and adds a few other options. These are useful when you get into developing a site as they provide quick navigation around. Now if you look down you will see your template that you selected in the main editing window. From here you can select move and resize any element on the website that you require. For example you can double click on the text and as you can see it becomes editable. If you look to the panel on the left hand side you will see that it gives you a number of options for this text. You can resize and change the font around. You can also pick a font color and add a background. Once you have finished making the changes in the left hand side panel just click apply at the top and your changes will be added. You are also able to change the location and the text area size. To move the text around just move the mouse over the top of the text, hold the left mouse button down and drag the text around on the screen. Once you have it in place release the left mouse button and the text will be permanently placed in this location. Alternatively, if you wish to resize the text area just move the mouse onto the text, hold the shift button, and the left mouse button down and drag the mouse backwards and forwards, you will see the text area grow and shrink on the screen. Moving images on the screen is just as simple, simply move your mouse over the top of the image you wish to move, hold the left mouse button down and drag the image round on the screen, 
you're also able to resize the image using the same method as resizing text, just move the mouse over the top of the image, hold the shift key and the left mouse button down, and drag the mouse backwards and forwards until you see the size of the image change. If you wish to add a new image to the website simply click on the image button on the top menu bar and you will be given an option to upload a new image or take an image from the image library. The image library is made up of images that you have previously uploaded, this can be very handy if you wanting to put multiple copies of the image on your website. For this demonstration we are going to select an image from the image library, simply click on the image library button at the top of the page, you will see a list of images that are stored in the image library. Simply select the image you require and click on the add button at the bottom of the page. Wait for the image to load. As you can see the image has now been placed on the website this is now free to move and change as you wish. To move the image simply place your mouse cursor over the top of the image hold the left mouse button down and drag the image around on the screen. Once you have placed the image in the correct place it will not move again. This is an advantage of using the BIT Web Builder software, as other software packages can move the image once you upload them to the server making the web design process a frustrating experience. At any time should you wish to resize the image, simply place your mouse cursor over the top of the image, hold the shift button down and the left mouse button, and drag the mouse backwards and forwards, you will see the image size grow and shrink. Once the image is at the size you require simply release the shift button and the left mouse button and the image will stay at that size. If you wish to add text to your website it is a similar process. On the menu bar at the top of the page you will see the text button, simply click on this button and this will add a text box to your website. This is now available for you to manipulate as required, remember double clicking on any text makes it editable, so you can retype, change, or delete it. Also on the left hand side you will see the option to edit the font, size, color, and other elements of the text, and as usual you are able to drag the text around on the website, and resize the area on the screen. The BIT Web Builder software also has many pre-built features that are available on the left hand side of your website editing window. These are all located under the add-on menu. I will just briefly go over these. But if you require more detailed information about any of them please refer to some of the other training videos which outline step by step how these add-ons can be set up on your website. They are all basically click and install, and are very easy as some of them have set up windows that ask you questions, while the setup process is in place. First up we have the forms menu, this has a number of add-ons. Everything from a basic contact email form right the way through to submitting information to a SQL database. The next menu is images and links, most of the add-ons in this category are pretty self-explanatory. A commonly used add-on in this category is the thumbnail with image pop-up, what this does is allows you to add an image to your main screen, that when a person clicks on it will pop up into a larger window. This is great if you need to display a lot of small images on your website that you want people to be able to enlarge so they can see it more clearly. The menu tab is part of the add-on section. It has a few key features including auto-generated menus and their newly edited text menus. It will also allow you to add a rollover picture menu if you require. PayPal is a large globally known and built payment system that makes it easy for people to receive payment on a website. By using the add-on tools for PayPal you can easily add a buy now button, pay now button and checkout buttons. These are all pre-scripted so all you need to enter is your PayPal account details and the system will do the rest. Plugins is made up of a few key website features, the first option is iFrame. This allows you to put a frame on your website that will display another website in it. This can be useful if you want to include information from another website. The Flash Movie option allows you to add any YouTube or MySpace videos to your website so that people can play them directly. The Podcasting menu is available for people that wish to add podcasting options to the website, once again this is very simple, click on it. Upload your podcast file and anyone visiting your site will be able to play the podcast. It adds a nice play and stop menu bar to your website that can be dragged and dropped and placed anywhere on the site. And finally we have the shopping cart option. This is great for people wishing to design a basic shopping cart website. It has all the main items that you need. Just simply add a shopping cart button next to the item you wish to sell. Pop in the details of the item and once that person clicks on it the information will be saved and displayed within a shopping cart page. 
As with all add-ons there is a full training video available to view online, should you wish to design a shopping cart on your website. More add-ons will be added to the menu as time goes.